sometimes you just have a really nice site something that is all concrete perfectly flat perfectly level like we are now and sometimes you don't what have you been up to i've been riding on a date in the case of most fifth wheels you can just push a button and they do a pretty good job leveling out but sometimes you don't want those levelers to get to the point where they're lifting the RV so much that you'll actually have the tires coming off the ground. Hello everyone, welcome to RV Daydream. A while ago, quite a while ago, when we had a travel trailer, uh, we did a review on a couple of uh, beach lane levelers. And since that video, we have directed hundreds of people towards Beach Lane to buy those levelers because we haven't found anything that's even close. We've had a couple people in the past make some arguments uh, through comments and that. You know how that goes. Um, armchair uh, warriors there, keyboard warriors. And they talked about how the biggest competition uh, as far as levelers are concerned they're made in America hundred percent well I'm gonna tell you that that company has their own problems that has nothing to do with the product itself so whenever you're talking about oh it's made in America listen I'm gonna tell you that this company Beach Lane's been around a long time they've been dedicated to the RV industry to putting out some very good product for a long time not only that but they are based in the US here there, it's a gentleman that has a company in the US. He does the engineering, he does the designing, he does all the figuring out of what he wants. He does a lot of testing, he does a lot of research, and if he thinks the product's good enough, he puts it out. But the uh, RV leveler, the, the wheel leveler that we had in the past um, was the Beach Lane solid polymer beach lane levelers and they're incredible I, I talked about how great they were they're thick they're heavy and they're almost indestructible problem is they were a little on the heavy side uh, the other thing was is sometimes you didn't need all of that block to get the kind of leveling that you necessarily needed for your campsite a lot of times we find that we are only three quarters of an inch to two inches uh, maybe three inches with our travel trailer that needed to be adjusted and we were taking out this big industrial heavy block uh, wheel chalk looking uh, wheel leveler and uh, it was doing the job it's just it was such a beast it was kind of overkill I mean that's kind of the way I do most stuff anyways so now Beach Lane has come out with a leveler that addresses that and it's adjustable and it's actually able to lift even more if you want there's an, an option there that you can purchase separately but I want to talk about their new uh, adjustable levelers for your RV um, it's really cool and not only that but he's got two sizes now because some of you guys may have a problem where your axles are too close and his other levelers you had to take a little bit off for them to fit in there even though we've been able to figure out a way to do it elsewise you know we would actually take those bigger ones even though our axles were close and we could kind of wedge them in there to get them started and it worked just fine without cutting them at all but these don't require cutting and even if they may need required cutting uh, on the bigger set he has an option for a smaller set so let's go ahead and show you what we're talking about beach lane levelers and they come with a bag that's plentiful this is the other thing that i liked uh, about the beach lane levelers the other set that we had compared to the Anderson levelers the Anderson levelers they actually did some testing on them and they would break they would actually break under load well that's the last thing that you want uh, the ones that we have or have been using for the past couple years uh, there's no I, I would love to see how they would break I mean I guess you could make them break but it'd be really tough uh, these here have the same weight capacity so anything that has basically a 32 inch or less diameter of wheel on it uh, you can use these these things are, are incredible um, but getting back to comparing it with the Anderson levelers uh, their bag was so tight you had to wedge the everything in perfectly 
for it to fit. With this one, you could just throw this stuff in here and it works. Um, he's added now, looks like a, a flap to help keep it zipped up if you're moving it around. But yeah, I can put these in here different ways. You can see there's room in here for all this stuff. With the uh, Anderson levelers, I remember I had to like put them in one way and put this one in another way and uh, it was just a nightmare. Um, now the two sizes that you can get is a uh, 15 inch uh, in length it's a stackable leveler, which I'll show you that in a second, or a 12 inch, and that's what's in this box here. Yeah, these things are uh, like the best of both worlds. This is for just one side of the RV, um, or if you need to lift like the entire RV up for a certain reason, uh, this would only do one axle if you wanna put one on one side and one on the other. So if you're wanting to, to get into a strange situation like we have in the past where we have actually had to lift our entire RV up and we've needed to lift one side higher than the other, uh, you're gonna need two sets of these. And again, depending on what you have as far as axle spacing is what you're going to order either the 12 inch or the five, uh, 15 inch. And that's, they're referring to the length of the, uh, of the uh, stackable leveler, so. You're gonna see a little bit different design here. You got this waffle cone looking thing. That's because of the stackability. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I like that he's still including the uh, rubber mats. This time they actually have their name sort of um, burned into the rubber there. I should say there, it's molded into it. And for the most part, you don't necessarily need to throw these down unless you're on wet grass or something. And it's so you don't get these things to slide across the grass instead of the trailer actually being driven up on it. Um, definitely something you'll put on the ground. So here's the deal. You can adjust this or have your RV leveled. That little bit that I talked about, you can see, look at this little drive on angle. I mean, there's just so little there. It's just a little tiny sliver probably uh, just over a quarter of an inch that's your drive up so it's real easy to get it started and then once you're up obviously this is going to be you know a, an adjustable amount of what you need to lift your RV to level it out if you need more you know this is going to give you uh, one to three inches in height depending on how far you drive your RV up on it if you need more, that's where this part comes in. And you can see here, this grid that is the reinforcing grid that keeps the structural strength of this thing. Here's the uh, uh, bosses that are made into this polymer uh, to allow it to lock in and keep it from sliding. And now you've made this uh, basically a, a one inch to four inch a leveler. Again, if you need to, let's say you need to go a little higher. Let's say you're in a situation where you need to do five inches of height. You can order another one of these. And now there you go. You can really get some height on there. And if you guys don't understand really how these things work, basically you're gonna put this under the uh, tire uh, and then either pull the RV up or back the RV up onto the leveler. And then once it gets to the height that you need it to be at, you know, the, the tire will hold it there, but you don't want it to rock back down. So that's whenever you put this piece underneath to basically now make yourself what would be uh, like a block of wood. And it will hold the RV at that height. Of course, you still need to do uh, some sort of a wheel chalk to make sure that it doesn't move around. And the way that you do that is you can get one of those wheel chalks that goes in between the tires this will hold it to some extent and i've seen people that do it this way because it really is cradled and it shouldn't rock off of this i mean it would take a lot but uh just for peace of mind if you want to try a wheel chalk on any of the wheels that are not being uh, supported or lifted you can do it that way so this is the box that it's going to come in um the uh, 15 inch looks uh, you know the box looks a lot like this of course again you get a couple of the rubber pads okay fair warning fair warning there is a slight smell to these. Leave them out in the sun a little bit, it'll go away. Um, these are the instructions, basic, real basic. Um, of course, the links for these are gonna be down below. Not only am I gonna include the links for these, which run about $10 less as a pair than the heavy duty ones. I will leave the links for the heavy duty ones also. And when I say heavy duty, 
they're both the same load rating so as far as adjustability these are really nice now the best part about these shorter ones you know you don't have to cut and that was the thing with the big ones that we had um, because they were kind of tight to fit in between our axles what we should have done is taken off about that much of the small end of the uh, leveler you know about that far uh, but we didn't and we just dealt with it and we we didn't have any problems we figured out how to do it but if you're going to find yourself leveling your rv a lot toss the blocks these are lighter they are easier to adjust there's a lot of fine tuning that's going on here because you can you know i don't know how many times i looked at my level mate pro app and it's told me hey you only need to go up an inch and a quarter on the passenger side well, if I only need to go up an inch and a quarter, there's no sense in me having a bunch of wood that I can't adjust it. I mean, that, that wood is, you know, like an inch and three quarters in height, even though it's a, a two inch, you know, it's a two by uh, six in this case. It's not a true two inch by six inch. Where in this case, I know that I can get, you know, whatever height I need by just throwing in the pieces that I need and being done with it. So Beach Lane Levelers, the link's in the description you can't go wrong uh, the only competition out there that's been around for a while is anderson levelers and quite honestly um, you know they break you can get them to break and they cost more um, and the bag that they store in is extremely tight it's really really tight uh, for these i think if i'm not mistaken at time of filming uh, the shorter versions are running about uh probably in the 40 to 50 dollar range for a set of what you just saw that comes out of the box with the bag and i think the bigger ones might be a little bit more than that maybe another five dollars um even their their heavy ones the big ones uh that we've had in the past that we did video on i think those are only like 60 dollars. and i know the the anderson levelers i think they were charging like almost a hundred dollars for them whenever we had ordered them initially and i sent them back i didn't like them um especially when i found beach lane and uh, found out how good their customer service is so again the links are in the description if you guys are looking for load levelers this is the way to go appreciate it and as always we hope to see you out here bye